Ta -da! Today, we are gonna celebrate the Lunar New Year by making some dumplings. And since it's the year of the dog, we're gonna make some dumplings for the dog as well. Here they are. Soup my wraps. Wonton wrapper. Green one. This one. Year of the dog. 429 cents. Look at this. A yummy. We can just buy these. I need a job like this. Naruto ramen. So today we're gonna make some pork dumplings. We picked up some Taiwanese cabbage. Of course you can just use regular cabbage. We're gonna chop this up. We want it small just because we're sticking them inside the dumpling. As well as shred a carrot. And then we're gonna stir fry these with a little bit of vegetable oil just in order to remove the moisture. In addition for the human ones, we have some green onions. Ginger is dog friendly, but garlic is not. Using a spoon to peel the ginger it works pretty well. And we mince garlic with a fork. Gatsby, are you ready to make some dumplings? So first we're gonna start off with all the ingredients that we can make for the dog friendly portion. One and a half pounds of ground pork, three tablespoons of cornstarch. The cornstarch is mainly used to help absorb all of the moisture. Two tablespoons of light soy sauce. Gonna add our minced ginger and our carrot and cabbage. One of the hacks is to use a potato masher. Mashing it up. We're gonna set some aside for Gatsby and then we'll add the human ingredient. Garlic and green onions. Three tablespoons of Shaoxing, which is Chinese sherry wine. Might need to add a little bit more cornstarch. Okay, that looks good. Yum! Is it smelling good? Yeah, it is, right? So we have here dumpling wrappers. There are circle ones here and square ones. We're gonna make both. So the way that you seal wontons is with water. You can also use an egg wash, but water is a lot easier. So here's our circle one. Put in our palm. You always want to use a lot less than you think. Take our water, dip our finger in, wrap my finger around the edges, and we fold. Squeeze out all the air bubbles. Gatsby's like, oh my gosh. Now let's do the harder shapes. The triple pinch fold. Well, once we get halfway, other two sides. It's like a ninja throwing star. Fold it there, and then you bring in each side. So which one's cooler? The four corner one, or the three corner one? This one, you just fold flat. We got the nurse cap. Fold this upward like this. I don't know what this is called. The monk. Check out all those folds. We're gonna try steaming them inside of a steamer. We put some parchment paper on the bottom. The water is simmering. The basket on top. Oh. We're gonna boil some of them. When these float, that means that they're done. As well as fry a few. Sesame oil. And we add some water and cover. So add some green onions and some hot chili oil. Mmm, yeah. Wait, Gatsby, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Huh. How was it? Is it good? The crispiness on the bottom like adds another texture. It's so good. There you go. Go ahead. <laughs> He's like, but I can't. I don't have my chopsticks. You can eat it. Go ahead. Here, Gatsby. Eat it. They're so tender. Mm. Was that good? Year of the dog, let's start the vlog. Hey, Gatsby.
as we mentioned before, it is Lunar New Year. And so for this year, if you are turning 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, you are born in the year of the dog, I'm born in the year of the dragon, and Gatsby's born in the year of the horse. Men born in the year of the dog are straightforward and genuine. Very opinionated, they're always ready to correct others and defend their stance. Women born in the year of the dog are very cautious. They are genial and independent. They love outdoor activities and being in nature. Is that you? Hey Gatsby, do you want to go and grab some boba? You don't even know what boba is. Happy lemon. That way. Passion fruit. Mmm. This is so good. A lot of you guys were asking me to tell another story. I thought I would tell you guys about my failed attempt at applying to Google for work. You weren't there. You weren't alive, Gatsby. It was actually like a multiple month process of applying to Google, and it had multiple rounds. I believe there were 12 rounds when I asked. Keep in mind, I was applying for an entry-level position. First round, they asked me what Ivy League university I graduated from and what my GPA was. Since I did graduate from an Ivy League university, and I had a really high GPA, um, I made it past that round, and they were like, congratulations, you made it to the next round. Round two, they're like, please fill out this PDF form. It asks you all these questions, but the thing was that it was impossible to fill out. I actually sent the form to my uncle who looked at it and he said, it is programmed to not allow anyone to fill it out. And we're like, oh, that's a test. He was like, I can undo the program to allow you to fill it out. He did it and I was able to fill it out and they emailed me right away saying I made it to the third round. I had to purchase and read three books about Google and how they program their site, and they told me that they would be testing me on the information. I read all three books, they were very dry, boring books, and I was ready for the test. That brought me to round four, which is a phone interview process. So in the phone interview, they tested me on all those questions, so I made it to round five. And in round five, they started asking me questions, like impossible to answer questions. I know a lot of companies do this, like how many golf balls can fit inside of a school bus? Ever, that is as far as I got. I did ask them what the next rounds would involve and they said that they would fly me out to Google's campus and I would go for a whole day of interviews and they would fly a lot of other people too and they would tell everyone that only one person out of that whole group would make it onto the next round, which sounds so grueling. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't make it past that round. Then there would be another round of phone interviews and after all that, then they would offer you a job. A lot of my friends did end up making it through all the rounds and getting hired at Google. So really good for them. During the time, I was very disappointed that I didn't make it past the fifth or sixth round. Looking back at it now, I'm actually really happy that I didn't go that route. And instead, I get to drink boba at the park with Gatsby. The way life goes. Beat the giant ivysaur. There he is, he's right there. He's right there. He's on the ground right there. We caught it, Gatsby, we caught him. Now she said she going to what to who? Let's find out and see. Corgi G, you know where I'm at. You know where I be? Apple Park. The spaceship is right there. There it is right there, Apple's spaceship campus. This is what it looks like. <laughs> they do let you go to the visitor center and I went with Sean. I'll put the link to that video in the description below. My friend Vince, he sent me this video, check it out. A woman was shocked to discover her neighbor's corgi was sneaking onto her property at night and riding her pony. <laughs> <laughs> a corgi and a pony make a corny! So stupid. I'm driving off right now to the gym. I'm gonna hit some chest. See you guys there. Hey! Wait, who's got the keys? Uh-oh, my tank is not doing that well. I was just doing some aquarium maintenance and I realized that a lot of the corals is dying. I did a water test and everything is fine, so I have no idea what's going on. These torch corals look super angry. The cephastria over here is like all bleached out. I'm checking the water, it's the 78 degrees, which is the correct temperature. The frog spawn look okay. However, look how much my blondie polyps multiplied. Remember, I started with like three of them. Those and the orange oxides, look at that. Guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. We got some more mail. It's for me. I got some whisks. Whoever sent us whisks, thank you. Jasmine from Fairburn, Georgia. A crazy crinkle TV. There you go. 
Gatsby got a bone. Ooh, I got Sour Patch. Allison from San Diego. Gatsby turned four. He got a rope. Gatsby loves ropes. Yeah, you want that? Ah. Okay, let's open the last one. This is from Victoria Wong from Singapore. Again, happy new year. Look at that. Woo, a year of the dog plushie. We got some shrimp cracker chips this time. Sweet and tangy vermicelli, mi siam. They gave me the vermicelli noodles for it. Pineapple tart is a must during the Chinese new year. It sounds like the arrival of prosperity in several Chinese dialects. It has like pineapple jelly inside. And it was like a shortbread outside. Prosperity has arrived. <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone who sent us stuff. Uh. Ow! Those dumplings were so good. I can't believe we made so many. We gotta work off those dumplings. I guess we're gonna have to go to the park twice today. Fun time at the park, complete. And since it's getting to be dinner time, I think I should still go ahead and grab some food even though I'm kind of full. And since it's Chinese New Year, there's only one thing we should get. Ooh, they have a new option for Chinese New Year. It's pretty good. Happy Chinese New Year. Are you that famous guy? This one right here. That's you. It's not the best photo. <laughs> Someone's watching me. That's what the peephole really is for. Anyway, I would like to thank all these awesome people who posted their photos with their Corgion Fleek merch. Right there. Yeah. The Valentine's cards were a Big, big hit. Thank you so much to everyone who ordered them. And if you still want to get a card, don't worry, they work for anything like Mother's Day, for friends, anything. Anyway, thank you so much you guys for watching today's video. Happy Lunar New Year and happy Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed the dumplings today, Gatsby. We're gonna head to bed now and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Good night. Today we are going to be recreating the iconic meal from Lady and the Tramp. Dog friendly spaghetti. Let's do it. We're going to be making some meatballs out of some pork, which will add a little bit of moisture.